Hard Landscaping. The aim of this set of movies is to introduce you to the hardscape and step tools, but also show you how to use the push-pull functionality within the 2D drawing tools to be able to model something unique. First, we'll examine the starter file. Using File Open, open the file One Start Hard Landscaping. This file has many more layers and classes now. As stated earlier, the more you can structure your design workflow, the more flexible your file will be for presenting different aspects of the design. On the view bar, click the Layers button. Notice the design layers Site Survey and Garden Floor have a Z or Z elevation of zero. The layers named Hard Landscaping, Planting and Green Roof Structure are at different Z or Z elevations, minus 650 millimetres. Design layers are like horizontal planes that can have their elevations set to different heights. Objects drawn on a specific design layer will adopt the elevation of the layer on which they are drawn. Click OK. On the navigation palette, click on the Design Layers tab. The active layer is Hard Landscaping. This layer contains some 2D shapes that you'll use to create a design, as well as some previously completed objects. It also contains some instructions that you will be able to hide when you've completed the steps. Additionally, there's a ready-made water feature, which we'll discuss later. The Layer Options menu is set to Active Only, so that you can see clearly what's on each layer. Click on the Site Survey layer to make it active. There's a building with a roof and a very simple boundary created with walls. A Heliodon object has been placed citing this garden in London, UK. Click on the Garden Floor layer to make it active. There are two floor objects to act as a base for different levels in our model. Click on each in turn and notice the different Z values on the Object Info palette. Click on the Green Roof Structure layer to make it active. There is nothing on this layer yet, but you'll be modelling something here soon. The Planting and Green Roof Planting layers contain partially completed planting plans. You'll work with them fully later. Make Hard Landscaping the active layer on the navigation palette. Now we'll examine the Terrace. The terrace is already completed so that you can look at its settings before creating your own. Click the Selection tool and select the existing terrace. Remember, at the start of this exercise, we saw that the design layers are at different elevations. On the Object Info palette, notice this is a hardscape object drawn on the layer Hard Landscaping, which is positioned at minus 650 millimetres. However, the Z field shows the object itself positioned at 615 millimetres. This object is therefore positioned 615 millimetres higher than the layer on which it's drawn, as object Z elevations are relative to the position of their design layer. It has a thickness of 35 millimetres so its top surface is at 650 millimetres above the layer. Click on the Hardscape Settings button on the Object Info palette. The Hardscape Object Settings dialog is displayed. This Hardscape object has been created for you in advance and certain elements have been configured, such as the joint pattern, the thickness in 3D and the RenderWorks texture that will be applied in a rendered view. You'll learn more about these settings in a moment. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. On the Object Info palette, click the Save Hardscape button. Click OK when prompted to name the hardscape and use the default name that Vectorworks Landmark offers. On the Resource Browser, click the Home button to ensure you're looking at the contents of the current file. Under the word Resources, choose Hardscapes from the folder menu. The hardscape definition has been saved and you'll be able to reuse it later. Keep this file open, ready to move on to the next movie.